Hi everyone, it is Friday, 7 something in the morning, and I might just see about getting a little more sleep, just because I can. <laughs> the only real commitment I have today, well no, I have two commitments, a virtual appointment at 11.45 and an in-person appointment where they're coming to me at 2 o'clock. That's not true. I've got another kind of virtual appointment at 7 o'clock. So with it being 7 something in the morning, there's no reason to force myself to like be up and going. Although if my body wants to be, I guess I'll let it, but I'm gonna at least try. So this YouTube vlogger family, they vlog Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I might vlog like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, instead of trying to do workday vlogs, because I've got a workday vlog on my vlogging camera, recorder, whatever you want to call this thing, that I need to edit it and decide if it's worth putting up. <laughs> my workday vlogs, I tend to decide I'm not going to put that up. It's probably just better if I vlog when I'm not working. <laughs> so what's this weekend look like? I just told you about what today looks like. Tomorrow, I may or may not go to the bank. I would like to go to the bank and take care of some business, but if the money's not there to do what I need to do, there's no reason to go. I'm gonna call somebody at the bank later today and find out if the money's come in. If it hasn't, there's no reason to come in. Also, if it hasn't, I'd like to know what's taking so long. If if they said, give it back to her on Monday, why is it Friday and it still hasn't come in? <sighs> but I'm actually going to try believing the best, try believing that it is there and I will be going. I'll still wait to make the door-to-door -door transportation reservation until I know what's in there, but it'll be in there. I'll just believe that it'll be in there. So, assuming that money's in there, I'll be going to the bank tomorrow. And then, that's the only thing going on tomorrow. And then Sunday, I've got something going on, but I'm not going to vlog it. I'm, I have a Applebee's gift card that, unfortunately, there's no longer an Applebee's in my neighborhood. So I can't use it on my own. I mean, I could use it on my own if I wanted to take door-to-door -door transportation all the way out to the Applebee's. I mean, kind of close to my work, but the two relatives I live near want to go out to Applebee's with me for Easter, so I'm like, sure, let's go. So we're doing that on Sunday, and no, I won't be vlogging it because, you know, some people just have no problem with putting their everyone in the vlogs. I don't have the courage yet to ask people if they want to be involved in my vlogs and as I've said before I don't have it in me to just record them anyway and put that up on YouTube so you won't see anything about that anyway that's kind of the weekend at a glance and we'll see how much of it I vlog about in any sense of the word you know, even if YouTube is not going to be my moneymaker, I feel like content creation of some kind should be, should be able to be, will be. Because, you know, what do I really like to do? What do I really enjoy listening to and or doing? Creating content. Specifically, creating audio content or written or spoken word content. It is not about pictures. It is not about photographs. It is not about paintings. It is not about anything that you look at. It is about things you listen to or things you, I mean, you can look at it to read it, but it's about the words, not the visuals. And if you don't know that about this blind person by now, you don't know me at all. And if you do know that about this blind person by now, 
You're probably thinking, Anne, we already know that about you. Why do you keep having to hound us with that? <sighs> Maybe because I live in a sighted world and all I keep hearing about is people talking about visual things and I'm like, F visual things. I don't even care. <sighs> I want to show you a part of a video. I couldn't find this just all by itself, so... I had to find it in the middle of the video and in the name of giving credit where credit's due I'll probably put a link to it in the description below but <laughs> check out this ad I've always been a collect the TV commercials that you like kind of woman kind of girl it started when I was a kid <laughs> and unfortunately the tape that this was originally recorded on by me I'm sure it's lost forever, but this ad isn't. <laughs> Just wasn't recorded by me, but it's all right. Let's try the hefty one zip, please. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Now let's try the other bag, please. No, no, no ma'am. That's still the hefty one zip. Please put down the hefty one zip. <laughs> Can you hear me in there? You have to make up your mind. Hey, you know what? What? I'm out of one zip. <laughs> Can I have some more? Hefty one zip slider bag. You slide it, you're done. Video not sponsored by Hefty One Zips. I don't even know if they, I, I assume they still make Hefty One Zips. I am not brand loyal to Hefty One Zips, but I am true to what I like. And I like a storage bag that you just slide it and you're done. Whether it's Glad, Ziploc, whatever. I like the kind of slider bags, whether it's freezer bags. I don't know if you can get those kind of freezer bags, but storage bags, sandwich bags, quartz bags, gallons, gallons bags. Um, just, I like the kind of bags where you slide it and you're done. You don't have to use these seals where you have to snap it all the way along the top and you're like, okay, did that, I did successfully snap that whole thing together, right? You slide it, you're done. I like it. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything, but I just... It's kind of annoying when I try to get slider bags and I end up with snap it all along the top bags. But I haven't had that problem since... Well, maybe I'll bring it back to something that... The video is not sponsored by this either, but I promote. Um, I rarely have that problem with shipped because... In fact, I don't think I've ever had that problem with shipped. Because, unlike some apps, you can actually communicate with your shopper. If I were to order slider bags, and the shopper went into the store and they didn't see the exact thing I asked for, they're instructed to contact me. I specify it in the app when I check out. I instruct them to contact me if there's ever anything in the store that doesn't exist just like I asked for. So they text me and they say, well, this particular brand or whatever of storage bag, I just don't see it on the shelf. What do you want me to do? And I say, well, I'm not necessarily brand loyal, but I want the kind where you slide it, you're done. If there's some other brand of that, that's what I want. Well, I just talked to somebody in the apartment management office. Uh, and my appointment, my first appointment today got canceled, unfortunately. I mean, it's unfortunate for why it got canceled, but it's fortunate in the sense that I'm getting that hour back. In talking to the apartment manager's assistant, I <sighs> established once and for all that they never got... Ugh. Yeah, they didn't get this past month's rent either. First, the county sends me jury summons, and I get them a month after I was supposed to report. Then I trust my bank to send my apartment management company rent checks, and in three separate instances, the checks don't get in the apartment manager's mailbox. The bank sends the check out, but somewhere between the bank sending it out and the bank 
that the apartment management company works with taking the check and putting it in their account, something's getting screwed up. I can't prove that it's the mail, but what else am I supposed to believe it is? So I'm going to recreate those rent checks as soon as I know I have the funds to. Yeah, if I'll take it, see what I think of it. If I want to keep it, I will, I guess, ask you for an address to send this Polaris back because it was a machine-to-machine -machine trade, right? Well, yeah, I... Well, true. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think I probably should just get my hands on the thing and see if I'm satisfied with it or if it's something that if I'm not satisfied with it, do I want to repair it or do I want to... What I'm likely to do if it's really, like, not working is find the money somewhere. Yeah, find the money. That's the story of my life. But find the money somehow and get it repaired. Because <laughs> I'm sure... I mean, only when they say, well, we don't support those at all anymore. That's when I'll be like, well, sh what do I do then? <laughs> but I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> I think Hims is still pretty good about supporting those old but faithful devices. Yeah, I mean they just supported a U2, so <laughs> there's no—I don't think they there's any reason they wouldn't support their smaller counterpart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the one that packages should go to. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Bye. I was just making further arrangements for this. I want to trade one machine for another, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. But I was like, you know, I'll just ask him, and huh, I don't know that he'll go for it, but I mean, I was half expecting him to not go for it. And he's like, well, if that's what you want to do, yeah, we can do that. I mean, it's... You know, I expected him to want some kind of money for it, but I guess since it's an older machine and, you know, he doesn't expect to get money back from it or, you know, why ask why? I asked for what I wanted and he said, sure, we can do that. That's a blessing. <laughs> That's a blessing. And I was just taking the next step in that process. So... I'm going to try one more time. I've been trying to call this guy all morning. If he doesn't answer after my appointment that's going to happen in like five minutes, I'm going to have to just call the door-to-door -door transportation and set up a ride for tomorrow morning. If we end up communicating like later in the day and I end up canceling it, fine. But there's going to be such a thing as too late to let them know that I want a ride. And I don't want to get there before I finally find out that there is or isn't money to play with. Well, there isn't, there isn't money to play with, period. There's not, there's, is there money to work with? <laughs> there is not money to play with. Is there money to work with in the sense that is there the money to produce one of these cashier's checks to pay back rent that shouldn't be back. I'm still pissed off. I am still pissed off. Paying bills is really important to me. And the fact that there ever isn't enough money to and the fact that money 
should have gone to Bill Pang and didn't just pisses me off. I probably shouldn't be talking about money on YouTube, but I guess I just want to, like I said, I guess I'm just talking to somebody who's going through it too because I can't be the only one. This is how things don't get done. This is the time, like, Fridays when I'm off work, or all week last week when I was off, that's the perfect time to get stuff done, and I don't think to do this stuff, and it doesn't get done. Is there anything that I should be doing right now that... Well, I can't do that. I keep thinking about calling this apartment complex, but they're not open Fridays, or, well, they're not, it's not that they're not open. The office hours aren't happening Fridays. Yeah, some things don't happen Fridays, in addition to me not working. <sighs> I'm unfortunately unable to... <sighs> well, I'm gonna have to go ahead and set up my rides for tomorrow morning. Because I'm gonna run out of time to... Your estimated hold time is three minutes. Well, I don't even know for sure what's going on because I can't get a hold of anybody, so I can at least go in and talk to somebody. Hopefully I'll be able to actually write a check. So either way, I'm, like, doing the right thing going in tomorrow morning. You know, as Friday night comes to an end, I'm gonna ask if there are any YouTube content creators out there that happen to be watching my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a question to you. If I had a service where you could pay me to write closed captionings for your videos, would you want that service? If you did a sit-down video, or maybe even a vlog, and you think Geez, I wish I had closed captions, but I don't have the time or energy to sit here and write up everything I just said. Would you be willing to pay to have that done? I might consider doing that. I have, technically I still have a transcription business. I was thinking that I didn't want to continue it. I might want to continue it, but... I might get really clear about what it is that I'm doing. Maybe it's not that transcription isn't the right thing. Maybe it's that transcribing whatever random podcasts I can get is not the right thing. Maybe transcribing monologue YouTube videos or monologue podcasts even. Monologue whatever, where it's just one person, one voice, and... Voices that are clear and good and I can understand and, well, good voices versus bad voices? I, what's a bad voice? <laughs> well, if a bad voice came to me, I would listen to it and, you know, unfortunately I would probably have to say, well, a so-called bad voice, I don't know if I would call it a bad voice, but I would just say, you know, I can't understand this this voice well enough to transcribe it. I'm sorry. Um, but maybe I'm worried about something that won't happen. Maybe if I would be really clear about what I would transcribe and spread the word, offer it, maybe the business would come and I would get more optimistic about it. I'm not exactly sure how to do specifically closed captioning, like formatting and stuff, but I could transcribe spoken word. Again, if I could understand the voice. And if you were willing to pay what I asked, I would consider working with you. Let me know in the comments if you're a YouTuber and you wish you had a closed caption. If you, if you wish you had closed captioning on your videos, but you don't have the time and the energy and the motivation to do it yourself. Like I said, if you'd pay me for it, maybe we should talk.
Good morning. It's like 10.45 on Saturday morning. And I've been up like since early in the freaking morning. <laughs> I didn't intend to get up this early, but I just kind of did. And drafted a important letter and got into some other stuff like organizing some files and stuff and before I knew it it was 10 something and I was like well let me see if I can try to like go back to sleep for a few minutes before my ride shows up I laid down never did go back to sleep and then my door-to-door -door transit agency's automatic like computer thing called and said your ride's about 15 minutes out so I'm like okay now I've got to seriously like get ready to go I'm for the most part ready, but I need to take care of the last handful of things to take care of before they actually show up and I have to leave. <laughs> this is going to be one of these rides where music's way too loud to uh, even try to vlog during the ride. I'll see you when I get there. Unfortunately, there was very little that I could do here today because... The process of getting these checks back into my account is taking forever and a bloody day. We're still waiting for the February check that should have been canceled and been put back to actually materialize. But I did stop the April one that should have materialized by now. Didn't. I'm stopping it. I'm getting the money back. And... Whoever's dropping the ball in this system, they're not going to get another chance. But I still think a big part of this falls on the apartment management. I mean, why the hell did they wait until now to tell me that two checks never arrived? I mean, my money coach believes with all his heart that the management company has dropped the ball. I think after what happened with me and a jury duty summons... There's a video uh, a ways back about that. I might find that video and uh, share it. Uh, put it in the description box below, possibly. If I don't, it's just... Suffice it to say, I was supposed to show up for jury duty on, like, November 10th. It was December 10th before I ever got the summons. Uh, fortunately, I emailed the court and got a really merciful courthouse worker that said you reached out you reached out as far as I'm concerned any penalty that we might have had if there was even anything there is expunged you're good you you're excused thanks for reaching out you're good thank God and thank you woman who worked for the courthouse but after that I would tend to put the blame on the mail system but regardless of who dropped the ball, this is... First of all, apartment management dropped the ball when they let weeks, months go by. And then finally decided to say, oh, by the way, seven months ago we never got rent. And then two months ago we never got rent. And, you know, what is that? What is that? They should have said something, period. They should have said something sooner. And then of course, of course this one source of income waits until like Monday or Tuesday of this coming week to materialize in my account when really I sort of need it today. <laughs> but I pulled like the last bit of money that I think I can move around to make it work. Welcome to the real world, Envy, right? <laughs> this is just the way things have to happen sometimes, but... Ugh. Anytime now, door-to-door -door transportation, automatic call telling me that you guys are 15 minutes out. <laughs> I'm so ready to leave. I'm finally home. I have got to eat something and then 
we'll see what the rest of the day brings from there. Probably a nap, probably a grocery delivery, now that I have any kind of money to speak of to do that. I've still got to be kind of careful, but not as careful as I had to be when I had less than what I just moved around. <sighs> Things will be better next week. I'm just going to tell myself that. You know, I should do grocery hauls, but I just put my groceries away and don't think to vlog them. Uh, or to do grocery hauls. Although I keep, you know, I pretty much get the same things. Well, I some people would show what they're, show or tell what they're eating. I don't because I pretty much eat the same stuff. <laughs> but I could start doing grocery hauls. Anyway, I did have a grocery delivery. It was a small delivery, small for me. Um, and I do think of at least one thing that I wish I would have gotten but didn't. But I got the things that I think I really, really needed. Although I probably needed more than I got, but I will probably do another delivery like later in the week. I don't really like to do like multiple ones in one week, but when you're dealing with a limited amount of money that you have to work with, you just can't get everything you might want to get. But actually, I'm probably not as broke as I think I am. I just have had a tough month because taxes ended up being more than I expected. Or maybe I just expected because of the taxes I paid before maybe I wouldn't have to pay and instead I did and then of course this rent situation doesn't help but this rent situation is like I said 90-10 like 90% 90 other people's fault 10% my fault um, the guy from the bank today was saying, you know, maybe we need a better way to track our checks than this. I mean, we should be able to tell you more about a check than, well, it's floating around. We don't know where it is. We just know it hasn't been cashed. And I maintain that on August 15th, when she never got rent, my apartment manager at the time should have reached out to me. And like February 15th, my first contact with the apartment manager or her assistant that we have now should have been, we have yet to receive this month's rent. You know, it's not going to matter anymore because, well, yes, it is. From now on, I'm going to personally deliver it, but if they actually do communicate with me and say, well, we never got it, then my answer is going to be, well, I don't know what you did with this check because I can prove right here, here's my copy of the check. I delivered it in the box. I remember delivering it. I don't know what somebody on your staff did with it, but <laughs> I did my part. But that's not going to happen because when... I start personally delivering it, they will get their rent every month, as they always have, as they should always have. <sighs> and it sucks that things happened the way they did, but, you know, you find out that this isn't working, and you cut it out, and you find another way to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to just stop this and call this the end of this part of the vlog and then do a second part with tomorrow because we're already at between 29 and 30 minutes. I've edited this down as much as I'm going to and you can only have a 30 minute tunes to tube based video. So let's call this the end of this part of the vlog and Check out Ira, check out Shipped, check out whatever you might want to check out in the description box below, and you'll hear from me tomorrow in the next video. Bye.